with coverage you can count on. This is News Channel 8's Good Morning Connecticut. Still to come on Good Morning Connecticut this morning, we're talking about the MS Walk <laughs> 2009. Dr. William Pettit is here talking about his family's legacy and this year's walk in Cheshire and across the state. That's coming up next on Good Morning Connecticut. Back now at 723 on this Saturday morning. Later this month, thousands of people in Connecticut will take to the streets to battle multiple sclerosis. Several MS walks are happening, and they're happening all across the state. The walk in Cheshire certainly has taken on some special meaning, a community helping to continue the Pettit family's legacy in the fight against MS. Dr. William Pettit joins us this morning, along with the President, Chief Professional Officer of the National MS Society of Connecticut, Lisa Gerald. Good morning to both of you. Thanks for being Good here. Good morning. morning. Thanks for having us. The MS walks have been going on for a, for a long time, and they are really the highlight, the big event of the year for the MS Society, aren't Absolutely. they? Absolutely. Tell me, tell me a little about how they've grown and how really they are available to, to everyone in Connecticut. Uh, well, the Walk MS, which is um, it's actually called Traveler's Walk yep. MS, presented by St. Francis Hospital Medical Center, has been going on for more than 20 years. I've been with the Society for 15 years. And at that point, it was a very small event, raised about $123,000 with about 500 walkers. Now the event is budgeted this year to raise $1.2 million to help 6,000 people in Connecticut that have MS. And it's at 12 sites where years ago it was at three, now we're at 12 because there's just so much to do and so many people we need to help that it's expanded. and generous people in the community have really made that possible. There is always going to be a walk near you, which is the, which is the important thing. Right. Dr. Pettit, your family so long was so involved in the fight against MS, and, and it's something that you are continuing to be, to be a chief spokesperson for. How important is it to you to continue that legacy? Well, it's, it's, it's very important because, uh, as you know, my oldest daughter, Haley, started raising funds for the walk when she was nine or ten years old and over the course of uh, eight years or so raised about fifty five thousand dollars and she called her team Haley's Hope. Uh, she was supposed to go off to Dartmouth and uh, Michaela was going to take over uh, in uh, 08 and call her team Michaela's uh, Miracle. Uh, Haley had wanted to start raising funds because she thought that she could uh, if she could cure MS, raise enough money she could cure MS and uh, save her mother. I was going to say, the girls were doing this for, for their mom personally, but of course when you're doing this, you're doing this for, for everyone, but, but on a first-hand basis they were seeing their mom deal with it. Yeah, and like many people with MS, Jen had a, a variety of symptoms that waxed and waned over time that weren't completely clear and it took a while before she was uh, diagnosed and like most people even though we were both healthcare professionals were pretty shocked at the time of the diagnosis. As you continue to to be out in front on this uh, on this effort to fight MS, how important is it for, for you to do that? Is this something that helps you? Well I think I think it's important because it's an example especially to the the young people to mm -hmm. try to try to give to others to try to imagine themselves in other shoes and to give to others because it's, it's a good thing to do. It helps them uh, feel better and it helps the overall uh, community. So I, I like the fact that many young people, kids in grade school, junior high and high school are involved with this effort. It is fun to go to these walks and to see the teams of people. Yes. They're wearing t-shirts. They're all walking for someone uh, individually. Right. But at the same time, yes. as, as I mentioned, they're walking really for everyone. Uh, the walk right. in Cheshire is certainly going to be a big one. Uh, our own Darren Kramer will be the Grand Marshal. Tell me Absolutely. some of the details in case folks want to be involved in these walks. Absolutely. Um, people can sign up now. Mm -hmm. They can go to our website, ctfightsms.org. And the walk actually starts at 9, registration is at 8 o'clock in the morning, but it actually kicks off with a ribbon cutting at 9. People can walk two and a half miles or five miles, whatever they'd like. And then at the end, there's a wonderful finish line party with Subway sandwiches and Coca-Cola and just very, very festive. And there will be definitely more than a thousand people at that site and over a 
all across the state, probably about 7,000 people are participating. Most of the walks are happening next Sunday. There is one right. walk in Woodstock happening the week after that, Exactly. Right? You're so right. And I believe Gil Simmons uh, is going to be the, the Grand Marshal of, of that That's walk. That's right. Get all that information. You see some of it on your screen there. Uh, all that information is also on our website at WTNH.com. We'll link you to the MS Society's um, website yes, as well. Absolutely. Dr. Pettit, Lisa Gerald, thanks so much for being here. Thank you for Best of luck us. and best of weather. I know that yes. there have been some rainy mornings, oh. and I'll tell you, it's even more inspiring to be out there on a rainy morning and see those people walk because you know what they're walking for. So, appreciate you being here this morning. Thank you, Chris.